I've gone ahead now and through my investigative sources been able to determine that the reason why Andrew Breitbart was killed was because he had discovered uh, incontrovertible evidence that the Chinook helicopter that went down in Afghanistan in August was taken down by a suicide bomber, one of the eight Afghans that was on that Chinook helicopter and 22 of the uh, members of the Navy SEAL Team 6, this very same team that was alleged to have captured and killed Osama bin Laden in Abbottabad, Pakistan, going back to April or May of 2011. This Navy, scene, Navy SEAL team was killed. They were killed that they might remain silent about there was no raid, there was no Osama bin Laden body, and that it was all a hoax. Now, anybody who's been around the military for any length of time would know 22 Navy SEAL teams, 30 Americans all total, and eight Afghanistan uh, soldier, Taliban soldiers on a Chinook helicopter and then they all go down in one fell swoop. That the CIA is now headed by David Petraeus. He was promoted out of the field. Obama brought him out of the field because he knew that there was no raid at Abbottabad. There was no capture. There was no killing of Osama bin Laden. There was no transfer to the U.S. Carl Vinson. And there was no burial at sea. Burial at sea. Now, WikiLeaks leaked the story and Drudge and other major news agencies carried it, including the Associated Press, but in the middle of the day, they retracted the story saying there was not enough evidence. WikiLeaks had the evidence and the evidence is still there before WikiLeaks leaked the information to the press. Indeed, WikiLeaks had had this information prior to, they had leaked it to Breitbart, Breitbart was sitting on it. The CIA knew that Breitbart had it. They whacked him, WikiLeaks, then released the information. They released it. Now here's the scenario. Sean Hannity uh, said that he was going to release the tapes that Breitbart spoke about at CPAC, which was nothing. Just Obama's rowdy anarchist days at Harvard. But there was nothing to it. The release of that information by Sean Hannity was a fraud and an insult to the, in, the integrity of investigative journalism. Here's a scenario. Breitbart had received from WikiLeaks the information that there was no raid at Abbottabad, that Osama bin Laden was not killed, that General David Petraeus had been removed from his field command and kicked up to the level of CIA to keep him quiet about the fact that there was no raid, that the army that was not inv involved in moving from Afghanistan to uh, Abbottabad, Pakistan. He was given a high ranking position to keep him quiet. Leon Panetta, who was a CIA agent who knew there was also nothing, was kicked up to the Secretary of Defense. Breitbart knew this. And you can document it yourself. Just go back and check the records of the date that that Chinook helicopter went down with 22 Navy SEALs on board. I mean, why would you put all that, your eggs in one basket? And, then, and that Chinook helicopter, uh, my friend Captain Neil Turner suggested and intimated that very possibly on board that ship, Chinook, was a suicide bomber of the eight Afghans of the Taliban military that brought that Chinook helicopter down. Now there is complete silence. The 22 Navy SEAL team operatives are dead and dead men don't talk. Benazir Bhutto, six years ago, shortly before her death, went on a television interview with ABC News and the Associated Press and stated as the president of Pakistan that Osama bin Laden, that he had died and Benazir Bhutto before, who herself was assassinated, gave this information in 
and in light of the fact that she could be assassinated and was assassinated. A person who is facing death most likely tells the truth. Benazir Bhutto reported that Osama bin Laden was dead six years before Osama, Barack Hussein Obama killed him again. This is about the Constitution. This is about America. And we shall not re retreat. Breitbart, Andrew Breitbart, I put it out there. I'm going to keep on fighting for you and thusly fighting for America and fighting for all of us. Jesus is Lord, all to the glory of God. And Obama is the son of Satan.